Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One from Petition College of Arts and Science, Adaya Chennai. In this video, I'm going to explain how to prepare a cost sheet when you have a closing stock. The closing stock information, the problem, will be in the hidden manner because they gave the information about the units produced and units sold. When you found units produced and units sold is different means. So there is a, you will come to a conclusion, there is a closing stock. So in that case, how we will prepare a cost sheet by converting the closing stock units into rupees. So that thing I want to explain in this video. Click the I button to watch my previous videos to have more understanding on the concepts of cost accounting. Let me check one problem. How to prepare a cost sheet when we have the closing stock in the hidden manner? The question is from the following information, uh, we need to, uh, that is, the following data relate to the manufacture of a product during the month of January. We have the information materials consume rupees 80,000, direct wages rupees 48,000, machine hours worked 8,000 hours right machine hour rate is 4 rupees that means for each hour the company is going to spend 4 rupees for running one hour a machine okay office over is 10 percentage on work pass selling over is 1.50 per unit units produced 4000 units sold 3600 at rupees 50 each so in that two information only we will come to know this cost sheet is the under the model of closing stock valuation. How you will come to that conclusion means, say for example, in this problem, we have the units produced is 4,000, but sold is how much? 3,600 only. So what was the information hidden in this two in information? There is a closing stock. That is a closing stock because 4,000 was produced, okay, but sold is how much? 3,600. So 400 units remain unsold that we will consider as closing stock. So whenever you have this information, I mean units produced, units sold is given, but there is a difference. The units produced is not same as units sold means there is a closing stock. So whenever the closing stock is hidden in the manner by looking at the problem, how to prepare the cost sheet. So whenever you have this kind of problem, you need to prepare a cost sheet by having three columns. The first column is as usual particulars, second column is cost per unit, and third column is amount, right? And then as usual, how to write the first item. The first item as per the cost sheet format is materials consumed. What is the material consumed here? The value is 80,000. Take this 80,000 in the amounter column. Okay. Then this 80,000 for how many units produced? 4,000. 80,000 I spent as the cost of raw materials for producing how many units? 4,000 units. Then what about the second column? This column is talking about for a single unit. So 80,000 for 4,000 units means what is for one unit? How to calculate? 80,000 divided by 4,000. Okay, because as per the problem is how many units produced? 4,000. So 80,000 is the cost of raw materials for 4,000 means what is for a single unit? 80,000 divided by 4,000. That I'll get 20 rupees. I think you will understand. Then next, what is the direct wages given this problem? 48,000. That I will write it in the amount of column. 48,000 divided by 4,000 again to convert into cost per unit. So 12 rupees I'll get. So 20 plus 12, 32 rupees, right? And 80,000 plus 48,000, 1 lakh 28,000. So this is the prime cost. So we finished the second calculation also. The third calculation is what is that? Work cost. How to calculate the work cost? By adding the factory overheads only, I will come to know what is my work cost. The factory overheads, is not given directly as factory overheads in this problem. But instead of that, 
the machines are usually inside the factory only so whatever expenses is uh, relating to the machine that we'll consider under the category of factory so i'll consider this two information i mean machine hours worked how many hours worked 8000 hours each hour we are going to pay 4 rupees so what is the factory overhead so the machine running expenses only i will show as factory overheads what is the machine running expenses 8000 hours the machine run as per this problem so each uh, hour they are spending 4 rupees means what is for 8000 hours 32000 rupees but under cost per unit you should not show 4 rupees 32000 rupees is the factory overheads for 4000 units for producing 4000 units 32000 is the factory overheads right then what is for one unit means 32000 divided by 4000 please make a note 32000 divided by 4000 that gives you 8 rupees but many of the students will commit a mistake by uh, that is silly mistake they will commit a silly mistake instead of showing this 8 rupees they will show that uh, uh, that is machine cost per hour so avoid those mistakes once you calculate the factory overheads 32000 and this 32000 we are incurring for producing 4000 units now our uh, target is to calculate what is for a single unit so 32000 divided by 4000 what is the cost per unit 8 rupees then i'll come to know what is my work cost by adding the prime cost with my factory overheads then i'll come to know what is my work cost once I calculate the work cost, I will move on to calculate the office overheads. What is the office overheads information is given in this problem? Whatever work cost I calculated on that 10 percentage is the office overheads. Now look at that. What is my work cost? 1,60,000. 1,60,000 into 10 percentage. What is my office overheads? 16,000. So 16,000 is for 4,000 units means what is for single unit? That is. 16,000 divided by 4,000, then I'll get the cost per unit is 4 rupees. So I can conclude myself till the cost of production. I mean, the till the cost of production, all the amounts must be divided by the units produced in order to get the cost per unit, right? So once I calculate the office overage cost per unit and amount, then I'll add on along with the work cost to calculate the cost of production. So 40 plus 4, 44. 1 last 60 plus 16,000, 1 last 76,000. So this is the answer as or termed as cost of production. Once I calculate the cost of production as per the cost sheet format, I told in the previous video about the cost sheet format when I was explaining. Next, we need to look into the problem. Is there any opening stock of finished goods? If you compute, there is a finish calculating the cost of production, you need to look into the problem whether there is any information on opening stock of finished goods. As per this problem, there is no information on opening stock of finished goods. So it is nil. Next, uh, next as per the format is, we need to look into the problem. Is there any closing stock of finished goods given? As per this problem, that closing stock is there, but it was given in the manner, hidden manner okay how it was hidden in the manner means units produces 4000 but i sold this 3600 means what was the information hidden in that there is a closing stock so closing stock i calculated as 400 units so as per the format what i am supposed to do minus closing stock of finished goods so i need to calculate what is a closing stock first of all that is 4000 units produced minus Units sold is 3600 means what is my closing stock? 400 units. This 400 units multiplied by what is the cost per unit of cost of production? So, usually, soon after calculating the closing stock in units, as per our calculation, the closing stock is 400 units. So, 400 units into what is the cost of production per unit you already calculated for this purpose only we add a cost per unit column for this kind of cost sheets right so for this purpose only for what purpose this closing stock in units has to be converted in rupees so multiplied by with uh, what value 
for that value this is a cost of production per unit cost of production per unit is how much 44 for this calculations for this reference only we additionally add a column cost per unit so this is the thing i want to highlight whenever you are going to prepare a cost sheet for the closing stock valuation the columns must be like this particulars cost per unit and amount so 400 units into 44 rupees what is my uh, amount 17600 one more advice to my dear students don't show any value in the cost per unit column because it's a closing stock of finished goods what value in future it will get we will not uh, uh, assure about that so put a iphone mark always whenever you are showing the closing stock of finished goods in this cost sheet closing stock valuation model okay so put iphone mark amount alone you need to show then minus again i am telling there are many students will commit a mistake you will show minus sign here but when you are calculating uh, you will use to add the amount don't commit that mistake minus closing stock of finished goods then you will get the resulting answer that answer is call it as what it is cost of production of goods sold as per the cost sheet format 44 minus there is no value so 44 will come again 176000 minus 17600 158400 so this is the cost of production of goods sold once i calculate the cost of production of goods sold i need to add the selling overheads what is the selling overheads in this problem let me check the problem first of all the selling overheads look at the problem selling overhead that the company incurred 1.50 per unit sold they didn't mention sold but we used to calculate only on the sold units only not on the produced right please take this point selling overage they gave they are they spent the company spent 1.50 per unit is given per unit means this is for one unit we need to calculate for how many units 3600 units why we are taking 3600 instead of 4000 4000 was produced but how many only sold 3600 on that only i will incur some expenses that is called as selling overage so 3600 into 1.50 is the selling overage what is this 50 rupees means this is the selling price per unit so have a clear cut understanding this 50 rupees as per this problem is what is that selling price per unit we can make use of this 3600 into 50 as to calculate the sales as a last information in the cost sheet but this 1.50 what is that selling overheads so what what the company is spending for selling each and every in one unit in the market so they are selling 3600 into 1.50 is the selling overheads so 5400 and uh, cost per unit i used to show only 1.5 here you should not uh, show 5400 divided by 4000 units it's completely wrong so because this is selling overheads selling overheads usually the company will incur on what they are selling right so 5400 i uh, that is what is that uh, uh, per unit uh, uh, value we spent 1.50 so one point so we you here you must be very careful what value you need to show under selling over it's 1.5 okay then you will get the total cost how you will get the total cost 44 plus 1.5 45.5 the same way amounts 158 400 plus 5400 163 800 i finished calculating the total cost then what i'm supposed to do plus profit so I have to calculate the profit by making use of the information sales. Sales already I told 3600 into 50 rupees is selling price. So 50 rupees in this uh, per unit column and amount is 180,000. So sales value is more than my cost value. Then what is the resulting answer name is profit. What is the profit? The balancing figure. I mean 180,000 minus 163,800. What is the difference I'm getting? 16,200 is my profit then 50 minus 45.5 what is my profit per unit 4.5 either this way or a 16200 divided by 3600 so what is my profit per unit so this is the way 
how you can prepare a cost sheet under closing stock valuation. So how you will identify this is the cost sheet with the closing stock valuation means you may have this two information like this. Units produced 4,000, units sold 3,600. So what was the information you done? That is a closing stock. In units only, we came to know but how to convert in rupees. For that only, we are preparing a cost sheet with, how, uh, with three columns, particulars, cost per unit, and the amount. So for this kind of problems only, we are preparing the cost sheet in three columns. That columns includes the information about the cost per unit. Okay. And then three things I want to highlight. That is uh, closing stock valuation is units produced minus units sold. And once you calculate the closing stock, Multiply with the cost per unit of cost of production. What is the cost of production cost per unit? 44. So that has to be multiplied. And you should not show any value in the cost per unit column. Right. And one more thing I want to highlight. Selling overheads is on how many units sold away? 3600 into what is the selling overheads per unit is given. Multiply it. And the per unit value only you can show in the cost per unit column. That is another important point I want to share. Mind it. And then how to calculate the sales or how many units sold into the selling price and automatically you will come to know what is the profit by comparing the cost along with your sales and what is the profit per unit and selling price per unit so this is the way how you can prepare a cost sheet when there is a closing stock given in the problem in a hidden manner i think you all understand uh, this problem how to work out um, thank you for watching my video okay uh, subscribe my channel and click the bell button see you soon in the next video stay home stay safe